Alexander Hamilton once said that those who stand for nothing falls for anything. This may well describe the former governor of Anambra State, Sir Peter Obi. Sir Obi governed Anambra State from March 17, 2006 to the same date in 2014. He was elected under the platform of All Progressives Grand Alliance, APGA, even when he was impeached and went through some political challenges, Abga stood by him. The late Igbo leader Dim Chukwe Mekodume Gojuku adopted Obi like a son and begged Ndibo during the 2010 elections to re-elect him as a mark of honor and last wish for him. <laughs> Obliged Ikemba and massively voted Abga and Obi. The former unambrested governor promised that he would always be an Abga man. I'm a hipster, I'm a hipster, I'm a hipster, I'm a
Say that is your fakego. Hence our mantra. Onye richina da chie uzo. Onabuzi onye ligolu. Okwatu osi si oji ligolu. Because. Now I have no more around on the moon. For the repeat of the devil. Mba. Ora ane pana. Enju apati sinyelo maka. Ibo kuro hore na atro parapati ya. Ora wa ama kwa parapati ya. So I need to stay and help to reduce the party stronger. Make it more than you Ndibo, can we trust a man like this? Where is Peter will be today? How are the mighty fallen? He has abandoned the people. Ndi Anambra that stood and fought for him in Afghan. Okute, meaning rock, stands. For an unshakable man of character, does Peter Obi's behavior towards Ndianambara by abandoning Abga and joining PDP support the meaning of his title of Okutendibo? Mbano, Peter's betrayal can only be attributed to people with selfish characters. Peter Obi is indeed the Obosa one of Ndibo. Even the PDP should be wary of the man Peter will be. He is a wolf in the sheep's clothing. Hear what he said about PDP in the past, which I'm sure you must not have forgotten. <laughs> Peter will be promised to ever remain faithful and truthful in character. Before you can like a younger man blessing, say we have every day and pray for one thing. May God give them somebody better than me. Even for the inside they collectively, they will pay for one month. And one month is only no one. 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 Dim Chukwe Meko Dumego Juku's widow, Ambassador Bianca Ojuku, during a stakeholders meeting of Abga in Ikemba's own mansion at Enugu, expressed joy over the party's decision to recognize her late husband as the supreme leader of the party. We wish to affirm here from a big that the supreme leader of our party remains Dean Chukwamekwa Odumegu Odukun, even in death. This house is open to this party at any time to convene meetings. It is the home of the spirit of Abga. members, their interests are subjugated to the interests of people in the camp. Bata, 
they become nominees of the party for elections. Party persons that have been suffering and slaving away for this party for years, and yet president to Onye Batalu for two months. Makamao Cholo ticket, Abga. Okay, where we in elections? Or we near for the camp? Or we the map? It will be a grave injustice to the memory of our departed leader. We are also calling on you, Governor Obi, to make sure that our party members are empowered at the grassroots. We are coming back as a family. If I don't put down the government, I'm going to get it done. 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 Peter's cross capetin after all his seeming solemn promises and pledges as well as his personal attacks on the PDP. A party he is currently fraternizing with has raised many questions about Peter B's integrity. Is he indeed a man of principle? Is Peter B a man to be trusted?